I want to give you a live look at the stocks this morning. Of course, opening bell just ringing right now. Oil and gas stocks seeing high interest from retail investors. Crude oil prices are surging after it was reported that the U.S. and its allies are considering a ban on Russian oil and also natural gas imports. Joining me live this morning to give a little bit more context to these numbers is investment advisor Jackie Reeves. Jackie, thank you so much for joining us live this morning. First, I want to ask you, the bell just rang. What's your initial take so far? Well, good morning and um, thank you for reaching out. So my initial take this morning is um, we're obviously feeling the pressures of the weekend, of the conflict, and also of the fatigue of the conflict. And that is definitely driving crude oil prices up. Obviously, the prior segment here, people are feeling it at the pump and they are not happy. Now, what else are you seeing in other stocks? Where else should we uh, be keeping a careful eye on things? Sure. So the other um, sectors that are performing very well, in including the crude and kind of the general energy space because of what's happening around the globe, we also have favorable momentum in the commodity space um, and obviously also in the defense space. So those sectors are doing very well right now in this environment. And then many of the other sectors are feeling a lot of um, angst including some of the growth momentum um, sectors. And this could be very interesting. Here we are, we're talking about what's gonna happen with the interest rates this month. Of course, we just had that announcement from uh, the Fed chair a week ago that they could be bumping up a, a quarter of a point there. What do you expect to see with that and how could that have an effect on all this? Sure, thank you. So yes, the uh, Fed uh, meeting is coming up here shortly. Prior to um, all of the activity, and the conflict in Ukraine and Russia, the expectations had generally been for a 50 basis point hike at the March meeting, and then subsequent 25 basis point hikes at the future meetings this year. Right now, the general tenor is because of all this uh, conflict that that has already kind of taken some um, asset deflation um, into the market. So the expectation is more for a 25 basis point hike to help with the inflation that we're feeling here in the U.S. So at this point, what do you tell your clients? There are a lot of different moving parts, uh, a lot of concepts we haven't talked about in this country in decades like inflation. What do you tell them? Sure. So many of clients um, that we have we're managing those portfolios for the long term. We're managing them, managing them for their liquidity needs this year, next year, and in future needs. So those um, conversations have been long in the making, and we're not making any rash decisions or pivots because that, um, that conversation has been had. Um, and we're looking to take advantage. We have some dry powder. So there are definitely some opportunities that have been created to leverage in this marketplace because of the downturn that we've had in some sectors. It's going to be an interesting few months in 2022. Jackie Reeves, thank you so much for joining us live this morning and your, your expertise on this topic. Of course, we're going to continue to watch the numbers throughout the day with the markets up until that closing bell. Jackie, thank you.